So see this question, determine whether the following specifications are consistent. Such questions can be asked in exam. So what is consistent is, if, if you try to uh, build a system with all these specifications, that system should really exist. Got it? If you try to build a system using all these, uh, you know, uh, like this, uh, that system should really exist. For example, um, what I can say is, let us say we want to design a mobile phone, okay? And we want to see that the mobile phone is uh, flexible, it should be foldable, like, you know, it should be like a cloth. So if you do give these two specifications, we want to design a mobile phone without a, and the mobile phone should not have metallic components. And as of now, it is not consistent. Why? If you want to design a mobile phone, there has to be transmitter and receiver, which is a metallic part. And without a metallic part, we will not be able to design it. Isn't it? So therefore, whatever specifications are given, they all should be uh, they all should hold true together for some truth value. So I'll just take this example and explain them. It is very simple, very easy. There are various methods of solving it. I'll, I'll tell you all of them. See this? The diagnostic, met the diagnostic message is stored in the buffer or it is retransmitted. There are two statements in it, right? So first one is the diagnostic message is stored in the buffer. And the second uh, sent statement is it is transmitted so what does it mean there are two statements first statement is the diagnostic message is stored in the buffer and the second second message is the diagnostic message is retransmitted so let us say this is P P is nothing but the statement diagnostic message is stored in the buffer and let us say this is Q Q is nothing but the statement the diagnostic message is retransmitted now if you see the next statement the diagnostic message is not stored in the buffer if you see P and this statement, you can understand that the next statement, this particular statement is negation P. Why is that so? Because it is just the uh, negation of the statement P. And the next one, if you see, if diagnostic message is stored in the buffer, then it is retransmitted. So it is nothing but if P, this entire thing is P, then Q. So, which is nothing but P implies Q. Therefore, we have three statements here. So, one statement is P, one statement is P or Q, and the next statement is negation P, and the next statement is P implies Q. So, we have these three statements. Now, we have to find out some assignment of truth values to P and Q in such a way that all these three will be true simultaneously again we have to find out some assignment of truth values truth you know true and false to each of this p and q in such a way that all these three will be true simultaneously now there are various ways some people say use it truth table which means some people will say that you can use p q and you try out all the possibilities true 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 false false true false false and then first one second one and third one you can use three statements like this okay and you can get the assignments and if for any of these assignments if you can see that all the three are true let us say this is true true and true which means if both of them are true all these three are true then we can say that yes the system is consistent we need not verify all of them if you can find out at least one possibility or one assignment of truth values to these two which will make all the three statements true at the same time then that is enough now see this here p or q negation p p implies q now i want to find out whether is if there is any uh, assignment in such a way that all of them are true so i'll just guess instead of doing this way i'm doing you i'm giving you one more method see this if negation P has to be true, then P has to be false, isn't it? For a value P equal to false, this entire thing is going to be true. Therefore, you set this one, fix this one. So, P is going to be false, it is fixed. And what about Q? Now, if P is false, which means if this is false, if this entire statement has to be true, we have only one way. What is that way? 
q has to be true isn't it therefore q has to be true so for p false and q true these two statements are actually giving true values now what about this one if you remember p implies q you can also write it as negation p or q isn't it now negation p or q if you observe this it is going to be true for these two therefore for this particular assignment false and true we are getting the truth values i mean we are getting the values of all these statements as true therefore we can say that the system is consistent and using the same example we can form a uh, no system which is not consistent let us say to these three specifications we add one more specification saying that the diagnostic message is not retransmitted okay so if this is q it is retransmitted if to this system if you can add this statement the diagnostic message is not retransmitted then to these three statements i want to add this statement negation q right now there is negation q one statement p or q other statement negation p one statement and p or q uh, this p implies q one statement now is there any assignment of the truth values in such a way that all the four are going to be true simultaneously let's see this now if you observe this one negation p has to be true right therefore p has to be false fix it now if you observe this one negation q has to be true therefore q has to be false therefore both of them have to be false if these two have to be true right and now if you use both of them false here then definitely it is going to be false so definitely there is no way we can make all these three false together you can even without going to that we are we are finding out that there is no way we can make all these three simultaneously true therefore it is not consistent okay. if you are planning to do masters then doing masters abroad is better than doing masters in india i'll give you all the reasons so first reason is out of 1 lakh students who take gate every year there are only 500 seats in old iits so all the iits put together have a acceptance rate of 0.5% and iits universities better than iits they have very good acceptance rate like 30% 40% but all the iits put together have a acceptance rate of 0.5% and if you are working hard to get into iit bombay iit bombay's ranking is 177 and iit roorkee's ranking is 400 if you are happy to get into iit roorkee then getting into university is better than iit roorkee is easier compared to getting into iit roorkee and looking at the salaries for computer science of uh, for software jobs if you have done your masters in computer science in us the salaries are ranging from 80 lakhs per year to 1.2 crore per year so even if you take an average of 1 crore per year your savings will be much higher than the salaries in india after taxes and your cost of living you can easily save 40 to 50 lakhs uh, per year and in india the maximum jobs that you get is around 30 lakhs so your savings will be much greater than the salaries in india and these are all the services that we provide university shortlisting so depending on your profile we will shortlist what are the universities that you have to apply and statement of purpose building and then lor guidance and gre and english test assistance and education loan assistance so you don't have to have any collateral which which means without any security now you can get education loan getting education loan is very simple these days and whatever the amount fee the amount of uh, fee that you have you have a range of uh, universities you can apply for 10 lakh universities 20 lakh universities or 50 lakh universities but whatever it is you are going to get complete education loan and you can pay off your education loan in one year after you getting it after you get a job and then we do visa assistance mock visa interviews and then connecting with the university alumni so now you might ask why we should join the mock visas so the answer is we have 90% success rate 99% success rate and these are all the destinations that we guide the students to so we guide students to any country that you want to go so now it is not just usa we guide to uk germany australia canada so we guide we guide students to all the countries we work with all the destinations and if you are interested in going abroad you have to just drop us a message on this whatsapp number 9494554454 okay thank you